Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be updating this laminate bookshelf. I'm gonna be making my own furniture paint for the very first time using a matte latex paint and a powdered paint transformer. So if you wanna see how I give this bookshelf a makeover today, just keep watching. Today's video is really special to me because I'm making over this bookshelf for some really dear friends of mine who happen to be the owners of one of my favorite apparel companies, Freedom Company. I am teaming up with Freedom Company today to help spread awareness about their Freedom is Worth the Fight campaign to help end childhood slavery, and I will be giving you more info about that and how you guys can get involved later in the video. So this is the piece that I'm working on today. This is laminate, so no real wood is being harmed in this video. Um, it's actually a pretty realistic looking laminate, but it is just particle board with a sticker on top. It even has a little bit of a texture to it. This is kind of one of those Ikea type pieces of furniture that is all put together with a bunch of screws. So it's not in the best shape, but it fits really perfectly in their foyer. They just wanted to update it to their style a little bit better. So I'm going to be painting it black and giving it a nice, fresh, modern look. She also wanted to remove these card catalog tags and they had fake screws on the front. So I thought I was gonna have to pry these off, but then I figured out the screws were on the back. So these were a lot easier to get off after the first one. I also removed all the little covers that were over the screws. I'm going to paint those separately and put those back on. And I need to give the piece a good cleaning. So I just took a degreaser. This is Simple Green. I've been using this a lot and liking it. So I'm just spraying this down. I'm going to rub it down to make sure it's nice and clean and free of dirt and grime and grease. And then I'm going to take some clean water and rinse all of this cleaner off. I'm gonna patch up those holes. So I'm grabbing my quick wood epoxy and mushing this all together to activate it. And then I'm gonna be filling up all those holes. I love using this stuff to repair holes because it dries really quickly and I don't have to keep refilling them and refilling them. It just works after one coat. So as soon as this was done, I just am sanding it down with a 120 sandpaper with my Festool sander. And I'm actually gonna sand down this entire piece because it's laminate. I'm just giving it a scuff sand because this isn't real wood, so I'm not trying to strip anything off. I'm just creating some teeth for my paint to stick to. You could also use a primer if you wanted to, but since I was using black, I did not want to use a primer because I didn't want to have to go through tinting the primer. And I just thought I would get better coverage doing it right on top of here. So I just did a nice scuff sand and then I'm wiping back all my dust before I start painting. So my friend had this Benjamin Moore paint in onyx left over from doing her son's nursery wall. And I said, hey, I have this paint transformer. I have never tried it out before, so I'm gonna be making my own paint today. This is BB Froche paint transformer powder. It's 100% natural and you can add it to any type of paint to turn it into a furniture paint. You just mix a couple of tablespoons with water and you wanna get the consistency of donut glaze is what they said. So mine was too pasty at first, so I just added a little bit more water. I mixed up enough of the transformer for eight ounces of paint. So I just added my paint up to the eight ounce line and then I just stirred this all up, making sure it was really incorporated, scraping the sides and the bottom just to make sure it's all mixed up really well. Before I start painting, I wanna share about Freedom is Worth the Fight, a collaboration between Freedom Company Apparel and Hope for Justice. There are over 1 million children commercially and sexually exploited each year. That's over 2,800 children a day. And did you know it only takes $500 to identify, rescue, and rehabilitate a child that has been trafficked? That is why I wanna share this amazing campaign that Freedom Co. is running right now. They have created a limited edition release release of a premium American made slave free certified apparel 100% of these profits are going to go directly to hope for justice to help end child slavery and they are using radical transparency so you can see where every penny is going. So if you want to join the fight, you can purchase one of these limited edition sweatshirts or t-shirts, you can also donate directly to hope for justice on the Freedom Co website. 
You are already helping out just by watching this video and sharing it with others to help spread the word. And I'm also going to donate all the ad revenue I make from AdSense and YouTube on this video through the month of November. And I'm going to donate that directly to Hope for Justice. So keep watching this, watch the ads and share it with your friends. I thought it would be easier to paint inside of these cubbies with this laying on its back. So I started with laying this down and then painting the inside of the cabinet. I'm going to be rolling this today because of how flat it is and I want to get a nice smooth look. So I'm using a foam roller that you use for cabinets and trim and I'm going to be using my Zebra Palm Pro to cut in in the places that the roller can't reach. So going back to this paint transformer by BB Froche, it just turns any type of paint into a furniture paint. So it's going to adhere without having to prime and it sticks to basically anything. So it is going to stick to this laminate because I scuff stand it a little bit. Um, I am using a matte paint, so it does look very much like a typical furniture paint that you would buy or see me use here on my channel. You could use any paint that you have, but just know if you're using like a really glossy paint, it's going to look different or if you're using something that maybe you had sitting around for your wall that's like an eggshell or a satin that is going to have a different look and not be as matte. These matte ones are going to distress the best, um, but you can use any type of paint. So I'm looking forward to trying out other paints that I just have sitting around my house because it's a great way to use them and repurpose them instead of just throwing them out. You can certainly research how to come up with your own concoction to make furniture paint. I know those recipes are out there. I loved using this because it was very easy. It's 100% natural and the little container I have does up to a quart of paint and it only costs $10. So this is a great way to repurpose that paint you have around your house. Just a little tip to make your top nice and smooth when you're rolling. Once you get all your paint on, I like to go all the way across in long strokes just to remove any of those roll marks. So here is what my coverage looks like after one coat. Pretty good. I'm going to go in and do a second coat. I went ahead and mixed up more paint as I ran out and I ended up using about 20 ounces of paint for this project. I used my Jolie Artist brushes to paint the little covers for the screws and to make some touch ups on the piece. So I'm going to be sealing with a black wax. This is my Jolie one and I'm going to be applying it with shop towels. This is my little secret for making black look amazing and rich and matte. Um, I don't like to use clear wax on black because I just think this looks better. Most people are going to tell you that you have to use a clear wax before you use a colored wax like this. But when it comes to using black wax on black paint, I don't think that you have to follow that rule. So I just apply this using the shop towel. The shop towel breaks down a little bit as you're doing this. So you do kind of use a lot, but you don't have to get a brush dirty this way. Just rub it on really well until it absorbs into the paint. And then I take a clean shop towel and I just wipe back any of the excess.
So this was a quick little update today. Here is what the piece looked like before and here it is all painted black and modernized. I was really impressed with how this paint transformer worked. I would love to try it out on different paints in the future. And I am so excited that now this is gonna fit in my friend's home and they didn't have to buy something new. Thank you guys for joining me for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try making your own paint out at home. Let me know how it goes down in the comments below. Don't forget to check out Freedom Co and their Freedom is Worth the Fight campaign and help us end childhood slavery. I'll be back next week with another video. Thanks for being here, you guys, and I will see you next time.